Uh, good morning, everybody. How are you? Today is our uh, lesson in uh, social studies of completing the Umayyad Caliphate and how Durman III had a great achievement. Um, so we'll start like uh, with a, a part of the video and then go back to the question and answer and go back to the video again. Listen. Remarkably different. Christians and Jews lived alongside Muslims in an Islamic kingdom, sharing art and knowledge and even speaking the same language for like 500 years. What? Yeah, I'm also really confused too. So in order to figure out first how and then also why, let's do some history. So our story begins. At this time, uh, the uh, all the people were living um, peacefully without any kind of chatter problems. They were uh, leading a good kind of life. All the people from different religion, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, were leading a perfect life, a peaceful life. Everything was moving the right track, and people were very happy. There was no kind of discrimination. It's in the same place that all my nightmares do with the fall of Rome in the late 400s AD. The Christian Visigoths swept through Europe and settled in Spain, where they ruled somewhat absently for the next few centuries. Unbeknownst to them, the Arabian Peninsula was experiencing plot developments, and the Visigoths were completely unable to put up the slightest resistance when the armies of the Umayyad Caliphate crossed the Straits of Gibraltar into Iberia at the turn of the 8th century. Fast forward to one bright and sunny day in 750 AD when the Umayyad ruling family found themselves murdered and their caliphate overthrown by the Abbasid Persians. One lucky prince, the young Abd so at this time there was a kind of conflict between the Umayyad Caliphate and the Abbasid, like people were trying to um, uh, control the Muslim countries and to uh, put an end to the uh, rule of the Umayyad uh, um, uh, um, caliphate and start to establish a new one, so they had to defend themselves. Al Rahman booked it right on out of Syria and ultimately settled in what they called Al Andalus. He inherited the rather tattered remains of. Al the Third is like the main figure in our uh, listen today, and we'll have to get get a close, uh, very very uh, close eye on him and to check what he, he did and how uh, great he was. Zagothic misrule and with nowhere to go but up, he set about making Iberia a worthy successor to the Umayyad state that had been so cruelly toppled. The ensuing period in history gets a serially unfair shake because the mainline Islamic story follows to the east for the Abbasid period, and most people don't start talking about Spanish history until we get reconquista -ing several centuries down the line, and even that's pretty one-sided. My goal here is to show you an underappreciated yet impossibly fascinating corner of world history. So, so, what does our boy Al Rahman do next? Well, first off, the Muslim ruling class made up a tiny, tiny percentage point compared to the rest of Iberia. But he shared his family's Umayyad ideology, namely, their enthusiasm to bring Islam to anyone who is interested and their willingness to blend into local cultures to make that happen. He knew there was nothing to gain from playing. Okay, now we need to move to the uh, questions and the explore the different answers. The Caliphs of Landelis. So we have like some gaps, and we have to fill in these gaps. So the first one, like, uh, what was the most powerful ruler in Landelis for nearly how many years? Uh, who was the first Caliph of Landelis? And all these uh, questions will be answered here because I want to make the matter very easy for you. The first question we have right now is um, uh, fill the gap. Who was the most powerful ruler in Landelis for nearly how many years? Abdurrahman III was the most powerful ruler in El Andalus for nearly 50 years. Next question. Who was the first Caliph of Andalus? Abdurrahman III. And he was also called Al Nusair. Number three. Cordoba soon became the capital city of learning in Europe. So Abdurrahman was dominating everything in El Andalus for nearly 50 years. He was the first one. He was called Al Nusair. He did a great job. Uh, he was doing a great job and the uh, capital city of um, Europe at this time for learning, for education, for knowledge, for experience was Cordoba. Next, Abdurrahman built a fleet of ships to defend traders in the Mediterranean Sea. So this means that Abdurrahman was not only interested in education, in learning, in knowledge, but also in the uh, trade and defense and defending his um, uh, countries and to defending all the uh, ships that were moving all around in the Mediterranean Sea. So Abdurrahman was doing really uh, a perfect job for the for the Muslim at this time. What is the meaning of the word patron? The word patron means a person who uh, gives financial support and encouragement to others. So if you support people, any people financially, uh, this you you are called a patron. So a patron means a person who gives financial support and encouragement to other people. 
Namely, the Christian kingdoms with whom Abdurrahman fought, he fought Lyon, uh, Navarre, Argon, and Castle. Lyon, uh, Navarre, Argon, and Castle. These were the Christian kingdoms with whom Abdurrahman uh, fought. Okay, Abdurrahman's greatest work was the uh, Madinat al Zahra. The city that he built north with west of Cordoba. So Abdurrahman at this time built a great or did a great um, work, which was building Medina al Zahra, it, and this city was uh, uh, built in the north west of Cordoba. Okay, next one, Al Hakam Al uh, Al Hakam the second was the son of Abdurrahman the third. So Abdurrahman the third had had a son who was called Al Hakam. Uh, the second. Right to achievements of Al Hakam the second agriculture, irrigation, and new markets. Agriculture, he did a great job in agriculture, planting new um, uh, farms and uh, big areas, flans, and irrigation, developing irrigation and building canals and this, uh, and new markets, opening new mar markets for people to uh, buy and sell. Also, he built libraries and mosques, so he was like taking care of all the dimension of life, not only in the field of food and uh, and water, but also in the field of building libraries and supporting people to uh, break their uh, prayings. Al Hakam II uh, 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 put together a library that contains around 400,000 books. 400,000 books. Hisham. The second mother and other advisors ruled the caliphate for him. Again, Hisham, the second mother and other advisors ruled the caliphate for him. One of his advisors was called Al Mansur. One of his advisors was called Al Mansur. Okay, we spoke about the word patron, means that somebody who supports you financially. Then we move to the word deposed. What is the meaning of the word deposed? Deposed means to remove from an official position. If you have a, an official job and you like create a problem, uh, the, the high authorities are no longer eager to support you, so you are deposed to leave it. You are forced to leave this kind of job. You are removed from it by force. Okay, what's the meaning of reinstate? Means to return someone to a place or position. After you are redeposed, you start to like uh, compensate, make up for the um, like uh, the uh, trouble you created, and then you restore your ability to do great work, and then you are reinstated again or get your job again. Okay, so I will start again from the beginning. Who was the most powerful ruler in in Al for nearly how many years? Abdurrahman the third. How many years? Fifty years. So at this time, Abdurrahman was a great man, was doing a great job. Abdurrahman III was the first caliph of Al Andalus, and he was also called Al Nusir. Okay, what was the capital city of learning in Europe, of education, of knowledge, of experience? It was Cordoba. Abdurrahman built a fleet of ships. Why? To defend traders in the Mediterranean Sea. This reflects the importance of the achievements of, of Abdurrahman III uh, for this uh, part of, uh, of time. What's a badron? A badron means a person who gives financial support and encouragement to other people. We support them mostly financially. Name the Christian kingdoms with whom Abdurrahman fought Lyon, Navarre, Aragon, and Castile. Abdurrahman's great work was the Medinat al Zahra, the city he built northwest of Cordoba. Al Hakam II was the son of Abdurrahman III. Right to achievements of, of Al Hakam II, agriculture, irrigation, new markets. Also, he built libraries and mosques. Al Hakam II the, the uh, put together a library that contains around 400,000 books. Hisham, the second mother and other advisors, ruled the caliphate for him. One of the advisors was Al Mansur. Was deposed, deposed means to remove. From an official position, if you are having a good job, official one, so you make you create a problem, so you are removed from it. But you can be reinstated. You can return uh, back to a place or 
a position okay let's complete our video this is our lesson i'm tr trying my best to make it as simple as i can okay so move back to the videos we were just watching and get much knowledge and experience from this video Hang up ethnic or political rivalries so while he encouraged locals to convert to islam he prioritized inclusivity and made shared prayer spaces for christians in the main half mosque half cathedral of cordoba the aptly named emirate of cordoba also had an economic boom to get the place on the up and up <sighs> Great. Religion and economics. While I'm not infuriating my audience, I can bore them to death. Alright, let's go. I mean, it is true. Over the course of decades and centuries, very sane and boring policies helped build and connect cities all across Iberia. New agriculture technology brought from Syria increased the productivity of the countryside, and the reopening of old Roman trade routes across the Mediterranean brought goods and resources into Al-Andalus. The emirs who succeeded Al-Rahman saw centuries of external and internal peace and prosperity. So Cordoba at this time was the uh, capital city of the um, European countries, okay? Uh, that's all for this part. Uh, I will just go back to that support, we want you to get uh, to study it very well and to do great effort on that one. I will leave it um, uh, on the school web page, uh, and you need to go for go backward to that uh, one and to study it very well. Thank you so much, and have a nice morning. Thank you.